You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Yeshi and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. To revive the age-old culture of Jammu and Kashmir and bring the younger generation closer to its roots, a two-day cultural and craft festival was recently organized in Poonch. The event saw a wonderful mix of art, culture and heritage. Have a look. Poonch got engulfed in vivid colors of joy and exuberance as thousands of locals and tourists visit the district to be a part of the two-day cultural and craft festival. Organized by Jammu and Kashmir Academy of Art, Culture and Languages in association with district administration, the event saw participation of around 200 artists from across the Union territory. From Punjabi to Pahari dance forms, they presented a number of mesmerizing performances to spread cross-cultural awareness among the spectators. They even expressed their gratitude to the government for providing them with a chance to showcase their rich heritage. First time I have seen so many people, so many cultures, so many colors here. एकत्रित हुए हुए हैं तो बहुत बढ़िया लगा मुझे ये जो गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से इतने सारे एफर्ट्स यहाँ पे लगाए हुए हैं तो थैंक्स करना चाहूँगी यूटी का गवर्नर साहब का कि बार बार ऐसा हो बार बार लोग इकट्ठे हों आपस में मित्रता बढ़े आपस में प्यार बढ़े तो बहुत ही अच्छा लगा यहाँ के दर्शक बहुत अच्छे हैं यहाँ का जो माहौल है बहुत ही अच्छा पीसफुल है लोग बड़े प्यार से रहते हैं हमारे बहुत सारे डिफरेंट वॉक ऑफ लाइफ के साथ ताल्लुक रखने वाले हमारे लोग जो हैं उन्होंने इस डिवाइस प्रोग्राम में हिस्सा लिया यहाँ आए उन्हें विटनेस किया ये प्रोग्राम मैं खास करके ये बताऊँ कि इस प्रोग्राम का मकसद ये था कि हम अपनी भूली बिस्तरी जो यादें हैं जो हमारी रवायत है जो हमारी तहजीब है हमारा कल्चर है उसको रिवाइव करें अपनी नई नस्ल तक बताएं उनको भाई हमारा खाना हमारा रहन सहन और हमारी तहजीब और तमदन क्या थी A local music show put up by a group of artists was another highlight of the event. Accompanied by musical instruments, their melodious voices brought the audience to the edge of their seats. Artists urged to have more such events on a regular basis so that their culture is promoted. Punch ki dharti bhai, bhoot achhe kisim kar program hua hai, bhoot dhoor dhoor se artist aaye aur unhe ne malwanjan kiya aur achhe kisim se program hua. Bhaer punch ke loog humare jitne bhi te, inhoon ne humare saath tawan diya aur bhoot achhe kisim se humara program jo hai, wo hua hai. और जो बाकी बचा वो भी हो रहा है तो हम ये चाहते हैं कि ऐसे प्रोग्राम बार बार होने चाहिए ताकि हमारा कल्चर जो है पहाड़ी हो गोजरी हो जो भी मतलब जमाने हमारे हैं उनमें मुख्तलि रंगों रंग प्रोग्राम हो रहे हैं और ये मतलब हमारे जितने भी आर्टिस्ट हैं इनका भी जो जो है इंटरेस्ट वो दिन दिन बढ़ता जा रहा है तो हम ये यूटी के जितने भी लोग हैं हम मशकूर हैं कि हमारा जो ये प्रोग्राम हुआ है आने वाले कल भी हमारे प्रोग्राम इसी तरीके से होते रहे as a part of the event, small entrepreneurs, college students and officials from various departments including agriculture, horticulture, tourism, sheep husbandry and even youth services and sports erected their stalls. While those set up by the departments made people aware about various schemes and policies related to their respective sector, others left the visitors spoiled for choice. 
With such events organized on a regular basis, it will not just lead to the promotion of crafts and culture, but also connect the younger generation to its traditional roots. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well reflected during the special prayers at the shrine of Saint Hazrat Mubarak Khan Shaheed, where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of the holy saint. Cutting across the religious lines, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims throng the dargah of Hazrat Mubarak Khan Shaheed in Gorakhpur city of Uttar Pradesh. The dargah witnessed a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity and commemorated the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During Urs, devotees, including women and children, offer prayers and hold each other at the shrine while chanting verses from the Quran. यहाँ न कोई जाति है न कोई धर्म है न कोई व्यवस्था है न अमीर है न गरीब है ये अपने आप को शांति के लिए और अपने आप को अपने जीवन में उपलब्धियाँ अर्जित करने के लिए संतों के मजारों पर आते हैं ये एक हज़ार साल पुराना आस्थाना है जहाँ एक एक हज़ार सालों से मेला लगा करता है जहाँ सब कुछ भुला करके इंसान इंसानियत की बात सीखने आता है मानवता की बात सीखने आता है तो मानवता का संसान देश या स्थाना देह दिया दिया करता है। The holy site sees a large number of devotees coming together in the spirit of humanity, especially on Thursdays. It is believed that popular Hindu author Munshi Premchand used to visit this darga, which was the inspiration behind his popular work Eid ka. This year, the Urs of the saint was organized in the month of May. सभी लोग आते हैं हम आते हैं हस्बैंड जी आते हैं बच्चे आते हैं जो जो चार लोग जानते हैं जिसको वो भी आते हैं साथ में कहीं भी जाइए कोई ऐसा व्यवस्था नहीं है आपका आस्था है कोई आपको बुलाने तो गया नहीं है आपका आस्था है तो आप आए हैं तो उसमें हिंदू मुस्लिम का तो कोई वो नहीं है By giving out loud the message of peace and harmony, these dargahs of Sufi saints have been long acting as a symbol of communal harmony. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood thriller Anek, meaning several, starring critically acclaimed actor Ayushman Khurana, released in theaters across India and received a warm response from moviegoers. So, in this movie, they also worked on a very thought-provoking issue and did a very better job. असे ये मूवी एंजॉय करने के लिए नहीं है ये मूवी में आप वो जो नॉर्थ ईस्ट के लोग हैं उनका पेन और यू नो ट्रॉमा जिससे वो गुजरे हैं वो दर्शाया गया है तो वो बहुत ही अच्छे से पोर्ट्रेट किया गया है द मूवी रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द सोशियो पॉलिटिकल रेव टेकिंग प्लेस इन इंडियाज नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स बिटवीन आर्म्ड मिलिटेंट ग्रुप्स एंड द इंडियन आर्म्ड फोर्सेस डायरेक्टेड बाय इंडियन डायरेक्टर अनुभव सिन्हा The film shows the story of an undercover cop who tries to bring peace to northeastern India during his mission. Hundreds of thousands of devout Hindus took a holy dip in various rivers in the VRs in various parts of India to mark No Moon Monday. River banks teemed with devotees as they waited for their turns to plunge in the Ganges. to wash away lifetimes of sins and pray for the happiness of their departed ancestors hum mumbai se aaye hain aur yahan pe hum apne parivar bachcho ke sath aaye hain aur ye ganga nahane se aise lagta hai ki hamare paap sare dhul gaye hain aur aaj somti hamam se hai somti awaz se ka hum baatyo mein bahut mahatva hota hai to hum log ko aise lagta hai ganga aur somti awaz se ko naha liya aur daan punya yahan pe aake kar liya to bahut punya prapt kar liya Sombati Amavasya is also significant for married women who take a dip in the Ganges fast and pray for the long lives of their husbands. According to the Hindu epic of Mahabharat, Bhishma, son of river Ganga, narrated the significance of Sombati Amavasya to Yudhishthir, the eldest of the five Pandav brothers. Bhishma said that whoever takes a bath in the sacred rivers on this day would be prosperous. disease free and free from grief and sorrow
A mango fruit festival aimed at promoting different varieties of popular fruit was organized in India's southern Karnataka state. The event happened after a gap of two years because of COVID-19 induced lockdown. Mango lovers and locals from in and around Bengaluru city attended the festival. Mangoes of all shapes and sizes were displayed at the festival. Come visit, visit Mango Mela where you can find a good mango. So no farmer's intention is to sell the mangoes. His intention is to uh, make his product to visible all over the nation. Bangalore is one type of city where you can see multiple language people or multiple community people and we think this is the best platform to market our own product. Alfonso mangoes, which are one of the most expensive varieties of mangoes in the world, are also produced in India's western Maharashtra state. India's mango pulp market caters to some of the world's biggest food and beverage players including PepsiCo, Coca-Cola and Unilever. And now we will take you to Midnapur city of West Bengal where the Darga of Chansa Baba has been uniting people of different religious communities for years. Take a look. For centuries, the shrine of Chansa Baba in Midnapur district of West Bengal has served as a sinusure of unification between myriad faiths practiced in India. No matter which caste or community they belong to, devotees bow their head before the shrine and offer their respect to the revered Sufi saint and pray for the well-being of their family. We maintain the shrine mostly. Mostly the Hindu uh, wives come here and they put the chadar on Baba and they put some flowers as well and Muslims also come and pray. So Baba is great. Baba does all the good and happiness to all the people. Situated in the Ballafpur Birza Mohalla area of Mitnapur district, the holy site is thronged by a number of devotees every year. Sufi Saint Chansa Baba was a renowned figure among the people of Mitnapur. During his entire life, he worked for the well-being of humanity and promoted love and brotherhood. In 1980, after the demise of the Sufi Saint, a shrine was built in his honour by one of his Hindu disciples Chamat Kumar Situa, so as to spread the message of Saint and promote camaraderie among the people of different faiths. Baba ka mohabbat mein mat phans gaya main nikal nahi le sakta jab tak zinda rahega mann nahi hoga sab ko chhod dega baba log unko nahi chhod sakta ye ek aisa mohabbat hai ye tutne wala nahi hai jitna kada ho jata hai jitna din jayega kada hoga tutne wala nahi since ages the sufi saints like chansa baba have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing a significant role in binding different faiths together. The Indian Railways is the fourth largest railway network by size. It was introduced in India by the British government during their colonial rule in the country. To visit the remarkable history of the Indian Railways and witness the different kinds of developments and changes in the sector, the National Rail Museum in capital city of New Delhi is visited by people of all ages and backgrounds. Take a look. In a history of 169 years, the Indian Railways has thrived on the path of development. It's a remarkable history could be traced back and revisited in the National Rail Museum, which is located in the capital city, New Delhi. The museum encapsulates all the memories and developments related to railways in India. Spread over an area of 10 acres, the outer campus of the museum displays different kinds of antiques like an old engine, rail, coaches and freight train coaches. This museum is connected with all of the memories of the museum, which is connected with the history of the Adhunik Yug, and with the history of the rail and other rail pranalians. तो सिर्फ एक ये म्यूजियम नहीं भारतीय रेल संभालता है यूनेस्को की वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट्स को माउंटेन रेलवेज ऑफ इंडिया को साथ में एक बिल्डिंग है मुंबई में जो बॉम्बे वीटीज के नाम से प्रसिद्ध है अब सीएसएमटी 
तो ये सारे उस परिदृश्य में हैं जिन्होंने भारत के आज़ादी की लड़ाई को भी और नवीन भारत के सृजन को भी देखा है समझा है उसमें योगदान दिया है A unique monorail engine which was built in the year 1907 has also been kept here. The speciality of this engine is that one wheel of the engine runs on the track while other wheel runs on road. Another major attraction of the museum is a ride on a wonderful and unique toy train which takes a complete round of the museum. Visitors enjoy sitting and getting a glance of the entire museum and enjoy the view of the other trains and engines that fall along the way of the ride. मैं अहमदाबाद से गुजरात से लगता हूँ हम यहाँ टूर पे निकले थे बहुत बढ़िया लगा अगली आने वाली पीढ़ी को ज़्यादा जानकारी होगी कि इसमें किस तरह से देश ने आगे तरक्की की है कैसे कैसे जनरेशन चेंज हो रही है ट्रेन ने भी कैसे तरक्की की देश ने भी कैसे तरक्की की उससे मालूम पड़ता है काफ़ी फ़र्क पड़ता है Photographs showcasing the history, evolution and splendor of Indian railways have been displayed inside the museum as well as models of various types of locomotives, rail coaches, freight trains, bogies and more. The office of the rail museum has also been made from the old coach of a train and the administrative department is working here. Keeping the history of Indian Railways, this railway museum has become a center of tourist attraction which provides a platform to gather information about the history of Indian Railways in an interesting way. At the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. An automobile exhibition was recently organized in Japan. The exhibition focused on carbon neutral automobiles and automobile manufacturing firms taking steps to curb carbon emission. The efforts of two of the world's top automobile production companies, Toyota and Isuzu, attracted attention. Toyota 自動車の方なんですけれど、あのカーボンニュートラルも今回一つのテーマとしてあの重要視しておりまして。あの展示の方をさせていただいております。今回あの見ていただいてお分かりになりますように、あの電気を使った EV とあと水素を使った燃料電池自動車の方のあの展示物の方をあのご紹介しております。あのカーボンニュートラルと言ってもあの今あの例えば EV であったりだとか。あの電動車の方大変注目をされていると思うんですけれど、あのトヨタの方はあの電動車以外にもあのカーボンニュートラル燃料ということで、例えば E フューエルだとかそういったあの燃料の方でも CO2 を下げれるんじゃないかというふうに思っておりまして、あのトヨタとしては今選択肢を狭めないということで、あの電動車も重要なんですけれど、その燃料の方カーボンニュートラル燃料の方の対応も重要だというふうには思ってます。Talking about carbon neutral cars, EV and electric cars are attracting a lot of attention. However, Toyota uses carbon neutral fuel like e-fuel apart from using electric cars. Isuzu is introducing efforts to develop EV fuel and autonomous driving technology in its cars as a step towards environment conservation. World's leading Japanese car companies are contributing to the future of automobile industry along with taking steps towards environment conservation. Young Egyptians donned their skating gear and participated in a rally at the Egyptian Canal city of Port Said, which organizers say is the first of its kind in the country. كبير وقام لأول مرة وإن شاء الله هو هيبقى المهرجان الأول لمحبي وعشاق رياضة السكايتنج لمن لا يعرف هذه الرياضة دي التزحلق بشكل عام بيمارس رياضة بشكل هاوي أو إنما بيساهم من أجل نشر السياحة أو من أجل تنشيط السياحة
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन